All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about log reading. And under log reading, let's take a look at this interesting question. You see, given that log x minus 6 base 3 is equal to 2y, and log x minus 7 base 3 is equal to y, then show that x squared minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 27 raised to power y. Number one, there is a if y is equal to 1, find the possible values of x. Here we have twin question. Okay, so the first one is a given that log x minus 6 base 3 equal to 2y and log x minus 7 base 3 is equal to y. We are to show that x squared minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 27y. Then again, it says if y is equal to 1, we are to find the possible values of x. All right, good. Let's go. Solution. The first one we have log x minus 6 base 3, right? Equal to 2y. And then, from here, let's work on this. You know, it's still the same thing as saying in the right-hand side. It's still the same thing as saying 2y times log 3 base 3. You know why we say log 3 base 3? Because here we have base 3. Okay? Now, when you say log 3 base 3, it's equal to what? 1. 1 times 2y is the same 2y. So, that means in the right-hand side, 2y is the same as saying 2y times log 3 base 3 okay good this 2y let's take it to the front it becomes an exponent that means we have log 3 raised to power 2y base 3 is equal to log x minus 6 base 3 now we have the same base we can take away the base then we have x minus 6 is equal to 3 raised to power 2y. Is it true? Yes. Let's call this equation 1. Now, going to the next, we have log x minus 7 base 3 is equal to y. The same thing. Let's apply it here. We have the same as log x minus 7 base 3 is equal to log 3 raised to power y base 3. You know, the same thing we did. That's what we did here, right? Good. Now, taking away the base, we are going to have x minus 7 is equal to 3 raised to power y. Is that true? We call this equation 2. Bringing equation 1 and equation 2 together, you know. We have x minus 6 is equal to 3 raised to power 2y. And then x minus 7 is equal to 3 raised to power y employing cancellation law into this case we are going to say that x minus 6 times x minus 7 is equal to 3 raised to power 2y times 3 raised to power y hello employing law of cancellation or cancellation law this is what it gives us right good now if it is true we have x minus 6 times x minus 7, all in bracket, is equal to 3 raised to power 2y times 3 raised to power y. Now, here we have 3 raised to power 2y times 3 raised to power y. We have the same base, right? Good. That means we add the exponent. We add a pass. 2y plus y is going to give us 3y. So, here we have 3 raised to power 3y. Okay, and then when we open this bracket, where we have x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 7. Open the bracket, it's going to give us x squared minus 13x plus 42 equal to 3 raised to power 3y. Okay, now this 3 raised to power 3y can be written as 3 raised to power 3 they will put y in bracket. Is that true? 
Good. Now, 3 raised to the power 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 27. So, therefore, here we have x squared minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 27 raised to the power y, which is what we are asked to show. Hello. Which is what we are asked to show. Okay. Now, the second one says if y is equal to 1, we are to find the possible values of x. That means in this place we will have 27 raised to the power y. We replace it with 1. Okay. That means we're going to have x squared minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 27 raised to the power 1, which is the same as 27. Okay. Good. Now, here we have x squared minus 13x plus 42 bringing 27 to this side is going to give us minus 27 equal to 0 then 42 minus 27 is equal to 15 right good so that means here we have x squared minus 13x plus 15 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation now solving this using quadratic method we are going to see that x is equal to 11.7 or x is equal to 1.28. All right. Yes. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.